I'll make sure that the snake is in the shoe. I want it in the shoe. That is my job. I want to go. Mama, Mama. This year's the election. They are going to come to you. And they will tell you to vote for them. Tell them to cry. Please tell them you are hungry. Tell them you are unemployed. Tell them you are suffering. Not try to buy bread cheaper. They will come with religion. They will come with religion. They will tell you they are Muslims. They are Christians. Tell them you are hungry. You have no job. The students are not in school. All this. Resistance. Do not allow them to continue. They will give you money. Collect the money because of your money. They didn't print any money. So they give you the money, collect it and work. But you will eat 
Well, nobody will buy your gold, but this will work. You have hands. You can go to general hospital like they used to go before and be cured. Because we have an insurance that will work. Where you want a job or you don't understand your small business, you can start. Any Nigeria you want, no Nigeria where whenever they time for vote, they come and give you 5,000. And then for next four years, you're right in the street. No, no, no. Take your money and do what? You have voted for, you have voted for umbrella, elite, and you are suffering. You have voted for room, a certain type of government. Now we are having the vote for human beings. Is that true? No. They 
and their promises are hollow. They and their promises are empty. They and their promises cannot be trusted. They and their promises are dangerous. We are bringing an end to them. Let me tell you, from the day you hear this, from the day you hear the word called President Peter of Nigeria. From that day, we shall stop the killings and start the healing of Nigeria. We shall stop the stealing. We shall stop the stealing and start the giving. We shall stop the slide and start the climb of the Nigerian society. Right now, right now, calm down. Open your hearts and listen to a very soft voice, full of wisdom, full of character, a soft voice, full of content, a soft voice. Full of compassion, a soft voice, full of commitment. Peter Abe is going to address you. We have decided to save Nigeria. We have decided to follow Peter. We have decided to vote for Labour. Labour Party, Papa, Mama, Begin. My fellow country people within Niger, how on a day? We salute you now and we bring you now bonge message. We be hope for a new Nigeria. And this message now from Mr. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of Labour Party for the election when it comes to. If you don't know, Mr. Peter Obi, now former governor of Anambra State and graduate of University of Nigeria Unsuka, he still attend different different top universities for abroad. And Mr. Peter Obi now still former chemo of banks for Nigeria. And with all this plenty experience, he don't decide to contest as president of Nigeria under the Labour Party to serve our country with a better mind and truth. Bezo say he sabi work, he get good character, and he gets the ability to do better thing for us. Labour Party, Papa, Mama, begin. Vote. Peter will be for president. Vote Labour Party. Mr. Peter will be vice presidential candidate under the Labour Party. Now, Senator Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed will be graduate from many, many universities. And now, former senator, Mr. Obi Chuzam, because now person will get better mind, good character, and it will be work to make sure say we continue to live in peace and unity for Nigeria. Both of them are religious people. We believe where well, we we'll say Nigeria is a great country where they don't dabaru for many years. And I make many people they suffer today. This is not time for Nigerians to take their country back. Yes, not time for you to take your country back. This is not time to make Nigeria great again. Now, now be the time, oh, and it starts with you. So make you vote Peter Obi and Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed. Because together, them go create new Nigeria where you did dream. Labour Party! Papa, Mama, begin! Vote! Peter Obi for president! Vote Labour Party! This message now from Voice of Patriots. Then be correct people will stand Gidigba with Peter Obi and Yusuf Baba Ahmed to say Nigeria must better. <laughs> From consumption to production. Yeah, 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 yeah
Like Singapore. Now the better, better people night day for government, and people will get better brain. So make we no carry people, we no get sense. Enter government for our own Nigeria. Many people will get better brain for Nigeria. We're supposed to do government to lead us. Now them can't be small people, but the ones will not get better head to lead. Now them dead, they do rubbish. So why we not go complain? So make we gather now and choose the best to lead us. People don't ask Peter. Should be rebuked because uh, there's nothing wrong if we get to the polling unit by 5 a.m. in the morning. Yes. We have been suffering for this for so many years now, so this is the time to change it. So I believe uh, all Nigerians that is back home that is ready to vote or that have the PVC, you know, they can take this information very, very serious, seriously. And that's why I'm urging every one of you to help us to share and like our our videos because if you share this information will reach out to more people. If you like the, the, the information will still reach out to more people. That's what it means. You know, we are doing our best, our panelists are doing their best, our commenters, our sharers, our callers. You know, let's continue to share so that, you know, we can reach out to more people. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you all. Remember, we have a guest today. They are going to be joining us where we can pass questions, ask questions, uh, you know, yes, and get answers and more information. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me quickly acknowledge people right there on the comment section before we not come full there now. At the end of the day, you will come plenty for me. Christopher Columbus, thanks for joining us. Good evening to you. Mother of all, Mommy Diaspora. Good evening to you, Mommy. Thanks very much for joining us. God sense I can see you. Mike Akinbari. I want to go further than that. Thanks very much for joining us. Good evening to everyone of you. As everyone go, see you right there. Thanks for joining us. Good evening, good evening. Oh, my dear honors, I see you right there. Abiodo Isabella. I see you right there. Good evening. Essay of your home. I can see you right there. Good evening. Good evening. Happy New Week to you all. Ebony Gold. Country Fest. I see you right there. Foster Orupi. I see you right there. Uwadele. I see you. Thanks very much for joining us, my people. Help us to share, 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 share. And hit on the like button right there. Thank you, my good people. Shola David, my brother. I see you right there. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rita. Obey, I can see you right there, Imam Bilion. I can see you, Prince Collins, my brother. I can see you on, on the screen as well. Ufoma, I can see you right there. Good evening to you, Sam. Olaka, Owen Batsi, Neo Sam. Thanks for joining us. Ida also Desmond. Good evening to you, Madarita. Good evening to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Rosalyn, Amoru, I can see you right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my people. My God, now God bless you. I'm going to continue to share this broadcast, please. Let's just do it, do it. I see you right there. Your name is funny. I like it. Thank you, Kingsley Obona. Thank you very much for joining us, Beauty Lady. Thanks for joining us, Martina Obasuye TV. Thank you very much for joining us. God bless you. Okay, I can see uh, Chris Owagu. Uh, thanks very much for your super chat. May God bless you and thanks for the encouragement as well. Thank you, my people. Jude King, I can see you right, right there, Presidential. I see you right there. Thanks for joining us. Azi Abo, I see you. Good evening, good evening. Edith John C, I see you right there. Shuko Amaka, Oguagu, Oguagua, I see you right there. You know, I don't verse if I don't pronounce my son properly. Okay, I can see a uh, traditional home cooking. I can see you right there. Please, I see you sabi cook uh, all this uh, we do, pandediam, uh, uh, egusi, uh, what do you want me to give? Ukwabi. Ukwabi, exactly. ACU, uh, Owo, uh, and many more. I bet you go answer to us. I bet traditional home cooking. Answer to us. Answer to us. We need to know what you sabi could make move for now. I will tell that our own. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you. Oh, Jennifer Cobbs, I can see you. You know, now God will bless you now. I can see uh, Uyi Manx. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Harry, Harry, I see you right there. Thanks for joining us. Now God will bless you now. Thank you. Now, yeah, in case I'm not make sure your name is not retentional, uh, maybe later we'll go see you. not too easy here, right here. Okay, Deborah uh, Jonawa, I see you right there. Good evening to you. I got a blessing on my people. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on because I need to quickly take on all these um, videos before our guests will join us. 
So um, please bear with us. Bear, bear with us and uh, help us to share. You know, um, okay, I think we should start with what do we have start? From? Okay, let's start with the video because remember we're on live this morning talking about Shomole. So I would like us to quickly recapitulate on this. Before that, let's hear one minute speech of Peter Obi here. In the camp of the Labour Party, the presidential candidate Mr. Peter Obi took his presidential campaign to Abe Okuta, the Ogun State capital, over the weekend, where he assured citizens of the state of a new Nigeria built on the rule of law, fundamental human rights, property, and accountability if elected president come the 25th of February. This year's election, let nobody come and tell you about tribe. Every tribe is hungry. There's no tribe that buys bread cheaper. Let nobody tell you about religion. No religion buys bread cheaper. Every tribe is suffering. Every tribe religion is suffering. Let nobody tell you it's his turn. It is your turn to take back your country. All right, uh, that one, uh, Peter, will be right there. But let's quickly listen to uh, Oshomole. But before that, I would like to let every one of you know that it's getting tougher, you know. As you can see right there on the uh, on, on our thumbnails, there's a lot of uh, titles right there, you know. Uh, let me put it big so that you can see it properly before I start my analysis, you know, because I want you guys to know that it's getting tougher. There are more confessions. There are more revelations that is currently going on that we Nigerians are supposed to know. Remember, you need to be brave for we to get this kind of information. So anybody that is giving us any kind of information right now, I think we shouldn't blame them too much by asking them, how come you not talk since? How come you not? These things are killing the effort to even give information. Yes, it happens to every one of us. You and I have one or two informations that sometimes we don't want to talk about but sometimes you might be pushed to talk about it maybe after a couple of months or, or years yes i understand but anybody who is passing information that is vital for the uh, society don't discourage them you know and if uh, whenever we have a guest here as well just ask questions don't pass questions to them that any offensive questions to them because one thing you must understand when you pass an offensive question to your guest you know, then if you invite them tomorrow, they are not coming here. That's what it means, you know, because one of us passed an offensive question to uh, Ibrahim uh, Abdul Karim the other day. I didn't really notice it until he, he, he brought my attention to it after the broadcast. Please, you know, if you're passing a question, pass the question that will be beneficial to us, not a question you're asking our guest. You are part of the people that kill this country. Is your guest, for Christ's sake. Is your guest. So it means you, you know, you shouldn't. I, I don't know. Let's let's compose ourselves when we are passing questions to guests. It's very, very important. Thank you. God bless you. I'm not trying to be biased, but that's how it is. Remember, they have the right to say that I'm not coming, and you, there's nothing we can do about it. That's just the truth. Remember, the biggest problem that Soare have today, you know, because Soare have. Uh, spill out all a secret how he will kill all everybody, how he will put all of them to jail, how he will do this and do that. And do that. You, you think these people will allow you to take over? It, 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 the only thing that will allow that will make someone like so real wins with his kind of proclamation and uh, what he's saying all the time is civil war, revolution, like you normally say as well. If you succeed, though, remember, a lot of people will die during the time of revolution as well. So uh, look at our principal. Some people criticize him all the time. Oh, Peter Obi doesn't tell us how he will put this one in jail. He doesn't tell us. Oh, it, 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 sometimes, I, I'm sorry to say, not be me get sense past, but we just need to have some sense. I'm sorry. He should, Peter Obi should be, should, should be campaigning right now how he will put people to jail. Do you think he can ever get there? Look at the people that is already campaigning with ethnicity. Don't vote for Igbo people. Don't vote for Yoruba people. Vote for Ole Aunsa. Me, you and I have used that statement against them severally. That's how it is. There's what we call common sense sometimes. It's very, very important. If you have to say it how it is when you are trying to get into an office, you will never get there. That's just the fact. 
you won't get there. They won't allow you to get there. Because if they will allow you to get there, I'm telling you, so were we supposed to be our president already by now. So please, let's have some reserve. God bless you all. All right. Um, you can see APC Najatu Mohammed. Remember, she came here the other time. She came to Arise anyway to, to make it clear. Arise the other day to give a couple of confessions, which include that they are kabas or whatever. In fact, she talked about so many things then. But today she came up by saying that the first lady, Aisha Buhari, is one of the kabas that is drawing this country back. And she went as far to explain why. Hmm. This is strong. Girl. This is strong. She revealed more today. So I call it confession. Although good confession to Nigerians. We deserve to know what is going on. Remember, we have speculations going on here and there that Buhari is not the real Buhari. The real Buhari is not there, blah, 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 allegedly. What about, for example, because information also reached me, allegedly, that Tinubu have threatened because seven governors went to Buhari a couple of days ago, about three, four days ago. They go threatening her, tell her, say, hey, where the, where the, where the, where the, body will they cash you so? Body will they cash you so? Now, information reached us on the media, allegedly, because we can't verify it, so I can't bring it here, that Tinubu had threatened the president of Nigeria if he did not openly come out to endorse him, he will reveal so so things to the public. Less than 24 hours after that visit, yesterday, uh, Buhari came out to endorse Tinubu. There's a lot that is going on. Okay, for example, now someone just comes out tomorrow to tell you what you don't know. You can't be stone now. How come you did not tell us this? Sometimes I ask us, we Nigerians, what do we want? I'm sorry, it not be me, no pass, but ask us, what do we want? Any information that reaches us right now is very vital to us. We need all. We need all. Okay. Thank you very much, my people. And Peter Obi also was on the interview yesterday. He said, entrust Nigeria to me and I will deliver Nigeria. So we are going to be talking about so many things, but let's start with Oshomole quickly. Just going to play it like one or two minutes from this Oshomole. If not, we don't have to talk about it this morning. Let's quickly do this. Please share this broadcast. Like the broadcast, the visibility is minimal for a reason I don't know, but we can do better by sharing and liking. God bless you all. And then you tell me that I can't take more than 20,000 naira from my own money in a country in which also partly in part because of the CBN monetary policies, which has led to massive devaluation of the Naira, a bag of rice in Naira terms cost 30,000 Naira. So if you spent 35,000 or 30,000 30, Naira to buy a bag of rice, CBN rolled out a policy that says you can't take more than 20,000 Naira that is where the ATM is working, which means you will have to queue for a whole day to take money enough to pay, half, to pay for half a bag. And if you need to, uh, uh, to pay for a whole bag, you have to queue another day to raise 40000 to be able to buy a bag of rice. She, this is not sensible. Hmm. And so, I mean, you, you're not only a political elite. You're running for election. So you are reaching out and you, you're running a grassroots election so which you need to go to the grassroots to see people. So you can feel you have had a fair share of uh, these uh, situation in terms of the fuel situation which you described. So you see that there is a lot of problem. Nigerians are facing hard times. You suppose that this is artificially triggered and to what end 
would you think that those who triggered this circumstance or this situation or economic hardship have in mind? Let me make a confession to you. Afro I'm a Catholic, we are we are supposed to confess. I was confronted by people, old men, pensioners, young people, mechanics, organizers in rural communities. They are not living on government. In some communities, there is no presence of government. It is they and God. And they asked me, why are we imposing this hardship on them? I have to enter a disclaimer. I said, Nigerians, and I know it will be the truth, we did not elect the, gov uh, the, the governor of the CBN. And so he may not be sensitive to the pains and anguish which the electorate are going through. And that is at the heart of what El Rufai was referring to when he talked about sabotaging the election and affecting the APC. Now, let me try to explain what I think he meant. If you have pockets of riots, the type we saw in the Badon, and what happened in Benin, that even men in uniform, soldiers, unable to get cash from banks, from, from um, ATM. ATM machines, had to go into University of Benin to compete for space, to break the queue in order to take, obviously, not more than 20,000 naira. And in the process, there is a scuffle between men in uniform and those they are supposed to protect, students. The rest is history. You have riots triggered by this process. It All right. Um, you see these people, they are trying to say they are fighting for the people. My brother, my sister, they are not fighting for the people. They are fighting for themselves. Okay. I thought I should just bring that in. Uh, but we need to move on to important videos today because uh, Najato Mohammed have revealed a lot. Trust me, she revealed a lot that we all must take very, very serious. Very, very serious. Uh, please, can we share this broadcast? Let me see. We have 37 shares. Thank you. I appreciate you all. But can we hit on the share more and uh, on the like button as well? Please press the like button. We currently have 300 people watching us. Uh, the light is not encouraging. And we have a poll on Niger Watch. You know, we are streaming from uh, three platforms right now, but the poll is all, only on Niger Watch. Niger Watch. Um, you can come there and continue from where you are watching, but just come there and hit on the poll. Will Peter will be a match as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Uh, just say yes or no. That's it. You know, you don't have option to write story. Just press yes or no, and uh, we'll bring it here at the end of this broadcast. You know, please press the like button. Press the like button. And God will bless you. Now press, continue to press. We want to listen to this. I call it a confession, but it's a good confession to every one of us. This is very, very important. We, should, we must take it, uh, listen to it carefully. I understand some of us might have watched it, but yes, let's rewatch it again and take it very, very, very serious. Uh, this woman um, deserves a credit, you know, by Nigerians right now. We, should, we need to applaud her because obviously her life is in in, in big, big risk. Uh, information reached me allegedly that her husband were, her husband was assassinated, you know. So and she also mentioned that she could lose her life through all this information that she's currently passing right now because she's touching on the big, big top, top people. In Nigeria right now, she's touching on all of them, you know. So, be like, say, Tinubu, Buhari, and their whole cabinet, they, they don't have one chance. Trust me, they don't have one chance. Uh, Azi Abo, you're asking where is the poll? Uh, please, which of the platform are you watching us from? Just write it there, you know. Then the, the poll is on Niger Watch, I, but I don't know which of the platform you are watching from. You know, um, but I only pull a poll on Niger Watch, okay? Uh, Kevin Kell, thank you very much, sir, for the super chat. May God bless you. Thanks for the encouragement. Uh, my people, please use the opportunity to hit on the dollar sign right there on the comment section. Encourage us and, uh, to do more for you. We really do appreciate you. God bless you. Please continue to press on the like button because when I start playing this video now, some of you will stop liking, some of you will stop sharing. Um, you know, that's why you see that I, I need... No, okay, you are watching from YouTube. Yeah, we are streaming from a YouTube, free YouTube channel right now. So which of the one you are watching from? All right. Okay, let me put the link where you, okay, let me just 
better. Let me just put the, the link of the YouTube where you can um, vote on the poll, okay? I think that will be better. I mean, it's, let me just put it here. Kind of explaining. Minutes. See this work. Okay. <laughs> All right. I've just posted it. Click on that link. You that will take you to another YouTube where we are also streaming from. Because I'm not sure where you are. What which of the platforms you are watching from? We are streaming from a multiple platforms right now. So um, yes, just click there. You come to the poll. All right. I uh, appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kevin Kell. Once more, God bless you, sir. Okay, I would like us to move on. Uh, let's listen to what uh, Najatu Mohammed have to say here. A very tough one, but we got to listen to it. As to the allegations you. that you don't, what, whatever you said on the 26th, you didn't know what you were talking about. That's why, and that you are not a medical doctor anyway. How can you assess the uh, health status of uh, Ashwa Dibola Metinovo? Well, I still stand by what I said, because uh, every day, every single day, even look at the clip of Asuaju when he was in Ocean quite recently, in which, in which he could not even remember how he got there or why he was there. So that is, that is the problem. When people say that these are clips, well, what we are saying even right now is a clip. If what we are saying right now is just nothing, is just uh, a fabrication, then every other thing is a fabrication. But let me talk about uh, Fister Schiamo. Uh, it's really unfortunate that a lawyer at this stage, if he remembers very well, and one of the things that I said about uh, Aswaju is uh, about corruption and perjury. It was Fister Schiamo in 1999 that sued the Lagos State Assembly for clearing uh, a suwaju of uh, perjury and uh, a certificate forgery. He went as far as the, uh, the Supreme Court, which he, he, even though he lost, but what I'm trying to say here is this. Was he lying? Was there a certificate forgery? Was there perjury? Did he, did, 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 um, uh, did, did a suwaju uh, uh, swore on oath based on lies? Or was Fistus Kiamo lying against Aswaju? This is something that he needs to answer. So we are talking of integrity now. We are talking the, about people changing according to their personal interests. They, it, I didn't send, take myself to, to Aswaju in London. Aswaju called me. I still, have, I still have the text they sent me. I still have it in which as they asked me to please talk to Aswaju that Aswaju wants to talk to me because he called me sev severally after I refused the appointment from, uh, from Falake. And Falake said I should please, in the name of God, meet him halfway. Let them put my name there because the names are coming out the next day. So that I can, if, if having sat with Aswaju, I am not uh, satisfied with what he says, then I can opt out. The very next day, Asuwaju kept calling me. I didn't even know his number. It was at around 11 p.m. I didn't know the number. I refused to pick the number. Then they sent me a text saying that uh, Asuwaju wants to talk to me. I still have the text in which I replied, tell him I'm waiting. Immediately after, less than a minute after, I got his call. He said, hi, Gia. I said, yes, sir. He said, I respect your stance on not accepting my, my, my appointment. I said, sir, you know me. I was in ACN. Why didn't you call me to ask me whether I was interested or not? Why are you sending somebody? And at this point in time, I told him, I cannot be a zombie. I cannot follow anybody just off head. He said, in the name of God, can you see me so that we can discuss it? But meanwhile, know that I'm in London. Can you come to London? I said, yes, sir, I can. Then he said, can I buy you a ticket? I said, no, sir, I can afford my ticket. I bought my ticket the next day and got on a Lufthansa flight. So what did I go begging as well? The names were out before I saw Aswaju. The names 
of my, myself as a co-director because they were not sure whether I was I would accept it or not after seeing Aswaju. So they put it's the only uh, committee that had two directors, myself and another another lady who, who, whom I really don't know. So I went to London. I saw Aswaju. We sat for two hours. In fact, Pa, pa Osiban uh, um, uh, um, um, uh, B.C. Akonde met us halfway through the meeting. And I asked him, sir, what is it you have for us up north? He told me point blank. He didn't lie to me. He said nothing. We have to even un try to understand what Akabal is. Akabal is a secret political group or faction that are uh, like Marx but that they manipulate and control the system they na yeah na the wala your start here i beg make una listen properly from here thank you a faction that are like marx but that they manipulate and control the system they manipulate and control everything that runs in the government that is what a cabal is and let me tell you who one of the cabals is is aisha buhari Aisha Buhari that is talking today is part of the cabal. Yes, we knew uh, the cabal of uh, Abba Kiaris uh, of late, the mom and Doras, that she couldn't even come out to say. When she started talking about the cabal, she glossed on it. She didn't have the guts to come out and name names. I named names for the first time in Nigeria. I started to name names. Well, that's but that's interesting. The, the, the point is that. Hadja. that Hadja. I, no, no, no. She said... She, she reinforced what Erifai said. She agreed with what Erifai said. Erifai said that the cabal in the villa, and she confirmed it. But what I'm saying is this, she is also part of the cabal. I am trained to, not to say they did this. We are trained to name names. You have to have the guts to tell Nigerians who this, the, the cabals are. And I'll tell you why. So when they are talking of the, of, of the cabal, the cab her brother, her... Now hear the part where she said, we are not trained to blab. We are trained to name names. I like that. Tomorrow now you can't attack this guy woman. Say, why she not talk since? Why she not talk since? Not everybody can be bold to, to, to point finger at... No, number one or number two persons in Nigeria. It's not easy. She's doing it right now. She's exposing them and there are more to hear. And information reaching us allegedly that Aisha Buhari was not a cabal or part of the cabals before. Remember, Aisha Buhari came out in the past, tried to expose this government. After they can't use money, they block her mouth. She can't move, go Dubai. For the past four years, I shall not the leave for Nigeria. She lives in Dubai. Anyway, we'll talk more on that. Let's listen to this. You have to have the guts to take part of the cabal. I am trained to... Erifa is said. Erifa is said that the cabal in the villa, and she confirmed it. But what I'm saying is this, she is also part of the cabal. I am trained to, not to say they did this. We are trained to name names. You have to have the guts to tell Nigerians who this, the, the cabals are. And I'll tell you why. So when they are talking of the, of, of the cabal, the, her brother, her, Aisha Buhari's brother, same mother, same father, is the DG now or MD of meeting and printed. So what are they, what are they talking about? When you talk of MFLA, Central Bank, the next thing you talk of is meeting and printing. Her brother, same mother. Now the year I'm, Aisha brother, papa, mama, now they say papa, mama, born both of them. He's the head of meeting and printing. In, in case you don't know, people where they print money, the head. All this information is very, very important for us as Nigerians. It's very important for somebody to put their lives out there to tell you the truth. We'll move on. This is why they struggle to go there. You said what? I said this, this are one of the reasons they struggle to enter there. Exactly. They do everything to struggle to enter there so that they can yes. finish everything.
to tell Nigerians who this real, the, the cabals are. And I'll tell you why. So when they are talking of the, of, of the cabal, the, her brother, her, Aisha Buhari's brother, same mother, same father, is the DG now or MD of meeting and printed. So what are they, what are they talking about? When you talk of MFLA, Central Bank, the next thing you talk of is meeting and printing. Her brother, same mother. I beg my people, where did DG meet? Because the best of my knowledge. Director General, where that are they printed? I ain't they charge. Director General. No, I, I know. I just say make an ask. Director I know. General. I say, may I help you tell them? Chairman of preaching. Bro, is anyone with a brick command head or brick command? My brother, make we talk this matter well, oh, because this one is information where probably since where they bomb me, this information will never hear around before. And there are more to come out. Yes, and yes. And yes. If you can remember, I told you that allegedly we heard that Aisha has been in charge of Biru to change nationwide. Yes. You see, has been of they are going to come out. This woman saying on mind, say they kill him because anything might happen. Right. Yeah, because this woman is an activist. Yes, anything she might was, happen. She was one of them, Sha, but uh, we, we need that. No, our, there's our no need of now. one of them, Alice. This is one of the things. I don't know where they, where they watch me from since. Please. We don't want any... Yeah, if you're, Alice, the fact is that if you are not part of them, you wouldn't know what is happening in the, in the inner carcass. You know, Somebody that is telling us the truth, you must, no you must go in. You must go in. Somebody them. must go inside to let us know what is happening inside. Alex, you know, Alex, let's stop to be blaming somebody that is coming out to say the truth the way it is. He was one of them. It's not the issue of today. The issue of today is this woman is telling us this is the problem and this is the problem. So blaming her now is, is one of them. What is the essence of that? It has no meaning. I'm you not blaming her. I'm just stating the obvious. But thank God she's talking. No, I'm no, no, no. Her. Just focus on the talking. Then you, you cannot focus. State the obvious, Alice, and you will continue to hear the truth. That's one thing okay, you must okay. know. Yeah, I think also that. Um, um, good morning, Mr. Elvis. Uh, everyone on the panel. I mean, this woman's revelation. Uh, I was earlier watching her. This woman is one woman I've seen that is fearless she puts her life even before the nation she put her nation before her life because what she just said this morning at rice tv can cost her life she had she made knows. so many revelations the only thing that we nigerians can do now is to make sure that people like this are secure because there are so many she has said, she has said worse things. they can't do anything they can't do oh, anything she's yeah. an activist we we, we 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 hope so, but this woman they would do her any property. Just, 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 just believe me, they would do her yeah, anything. This woman is so so dogged, so very, 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 very brave and very brave woman. She said something. She said, so one these, thing are that people, these are the people that are borrowing money she for us and there's no, there's no perfect life. Life. She and said, There's no perfect life. Let's listen. Listen, uh, Prince Collins, you said they can't do anything. I lie or not. Don't say that. If she exposed herself to be killed, yes, so. allegedly her mm -hmm. husband was assassin assassinated. So Hi. what are you saying? Somebody that is, that, that is pointing to that. Oh, you, mean other, you, you mean Prince the other? You mean the king Yes. Prince Collins, Prince Collins, oh for God. saying that they can't do anything. Hey. I think this is this oh is my, my brother. It's not the way it is. This is the biggest. Oh, she's stepping right. on the biggest toes. You remember. Uh, what's his name? Obi, Obi, that, that man that was former custom um, officer that came on air to come and reveal how the Kaba were doing things. Do you know he's dead? <laughs> he, he said, okay, he knew, uh, Mr. Oh, Lefty, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what you, I know, I know what we are. Mr. Lefty, uh, Mr. Okay. Collins, now, if any, if Bola Ege, if Bola Ege can be killed in Nigeria, Delegua. No, let's let's even say Bola again now. Bola again. Let's even say Bola again now. I mean, Delegua is. A, I mean, he's, he's a lawyer. Let's even say Bola again now. The Attorney General of the nation. Then, I mean, this guy was just was just killed without up until tomorrow. They've not even found. Do him you know? Do you know, my I'm brother? About that this. I'm about to just kill him. Are you aware yes, that this woman that is talking right now, her husband was assassinated and burned. Uh, the body of her husband was burned to ashes. She not just assassinated. The she's angry. Or she, 
she is very brutal now. She is very angry. She is brutally angry. So if you, if you cross, these she's are the ready people. To everything. These are the people. It's just like Baba Share. Baba Share on three days ago on channels. When Cheu was asking him that he was part of the APC before or whatever, whatever, Baba says, Yes, say, yes, I was there. Then I'm sorry. I, I, I've repented. I know what is going on now. So you're saying, yeah, He said, said he, he has seen the light. Exactly. He said, I've seen it, the light. And Cheu mm -hmm. now asked him, Who is not the light? Say, Peter will be is the light. You know? Yeah. What I'm trying to say is that I'm not I'm not saying that things are not happening to those that are that are trying to that are trying to uh, reveal uh, secrets of these uh, evil doers. Mm -hmm. But at, at this moment, I assume that this is this is a campaign period whereby people have to do campaign and cut out campaign. This is this is the period where you say the truth so that you can win the the the, the no, voter. No, so no, at no. Moment, she, 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 she's she, saying the truth, but also we have we, we have to care for our life too. Exactly. To I understand. I understand. But Prince Collis. You know, yeah, politics yeah, probably even better than me. In the history of uh, 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 politics in Nigeria, they never go this far. Have they ever talked about who is Kaba? If for the definition of Kaba, have been defined in a different ways. This woman can't talk out today. Say, first way you carry Olaga for Kaba. Now, nah, now, nah, first lady. Yeah, it has always been like that. First lady of uh, of of Nigeria has always been the second, the vice president. No, no, no. It, 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 it has no. never been like that, though. Okay, well, well, like tell that. me the government. Is it is it from Kaba, from Bamangina? Tell me. Kaba, has never Kaba been have always been a strong set of men. Their wives have have, have never been involved. Their wives are allowed to go and do things, but they have never been part of it. I'm very happy now that this this might okay. Let's pray for. Her. Let's pray anyway, let's listen to her. But Alex, we need to go back to history anyway. Concerning uh, the verse, no, uh, the, the, we'll go the, back the, to history. We'll just start to the talk. Uh, yeah, uh, let's we'll listen. go back to history. Let's so listen quickly. Let's move on. Yes, I wanted to tell uh, Prince Collins that that uh, the position wasn't it's not it wasn't correct. Kaba, okay. they've never been first lady among Kabas in Nigeria. The they are on no people. Uh, hey, thank they you, my dear brother, been. Mr. Leftist. Ma yeah, Kaduna Kaba. Mafia, have you heard that word? Kadu no, they me. are the one in charge of Nigeria. <laughs> you can say that the first lady might have influence over his. They husband. will allow her to do her things, give her okay. money, give her position. They will never allow her to that Kaba. Never. But don't worry. When, 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 let us listen so that we'll talk when we are when we're going to get to our turn. I'll defend yeah. myself. Thank you very yeah. much. Let's move on with the video. Before that, let me quickly acknowledge uh 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 Desmond one K. Thank you very much, sir. You've done it again. We appreciate you. So much, thank you, thank you, thank you for your continuous encouragement. And we have Janet Osawaru, thank you so much. You've done it again as well. Thank you, thank you for the support. Please, guys, continue to share and like. These are the things that's affecting you and I. We must focus on it, we must talk about it, we must take it very, very serious because we are talking about our future here. It doesn't matter where you reside at this particular moment. Remember, whatever that is going on in Nigeria is affecting everybody directly or indirectly. It doesn't matter if you live there. Thank you. Let's listen for that with this video. What I'm saying is this. She is also part of the cabal. I am trained to, not to say they did this. We are trained to name names. You have to have the guts to tell Nigerians who this real, the, the cabals are. And I'll tell you why. So when they are talking of the, of, of the cabal, the, her brother, her, Aisha Buhari's brother, same mother, same father, is the DG now or MD of meeting and printing. So what are they, what are they talking about? When you talk of MFLA, Central Bank, the next thing you talk of is meeting and printing. Her brother, same mother, same father, is, 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 is the head of meeting and printing today in Nigeria. So how Kabbalish can you be? And From what you are saying today, yeah, I know. it looks as though that Kabbals have factions in this country. What factions are the cabal are everybody now? Because now that you have, you've, you've, you've opened the can of gunpowder to this government of cabalocracy, so there are cabals here and there, factions here and there. You mentioned one. Which faction is that? Which other people are in other cabals that have multiple functions that the APC presidential candidate, I mean, the, that um, Governor Nassir Erufai even said that some elements in the villa are working. Let's, let's talk about these cabals in the villa. But they are also saying that you two should account. 
Were there other things you benefited? Was it only the police service commissioner? You should come out straight and not just say all of this because you've left the party now. It's sour grapes times for you. That's what they're saying. The four of us are not on salary. We have never been paid a salary. We are paid sitting allowances. So there's a cabal that was led by uh, the late Abakiari, may his soul rest in peace, and the reason why Aisha Buhari first started to uh, attack the cabal, it was because she wasn't part of the cabal then. But she succeeded in throwing up, uh, Mama Dora's things outside the villa. She physically throw them out. If you, and if you remember the case of the shootings in the, in, 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 in the villa, the gunshots in the villa, who, 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 who made that? Aisha Buhari's cabal is made up of her children and her brothers. She has determined, she determined uh, the, uh, the, the, the appointment of the former Nysel uh, uh, DG. She determined who is uh, now her brother, same mother, same father, at the meeting and preaching. She, has, she sometimes determine, uh, uh, in, uh, in fact, uh, uh, instruct service chiefs. So who is she? Is she not a cabal? And then there is, of course, the other cabal. Let us look at the beginning of El Rufai. But before talking about the beginning of El Rufai and how he came about where he is today, I want to please refer people to, uh, uh, to Abbas and Joe's book, My Watch, uh, volume two, page 110 and 112 in which, and I quote, he said, my vivid recollection of Erefai, my vivid recollection of him is he has a penchant for lying, for unfair embellishment of stories, and his inability to sustain loyalty. He is a pathological perv perv pervious a purvey of untruth and half-truths with little or no regard for integrity. That is why Obas and Joe described Erufai in his book. And I will, let me go ahead to, 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 give you, to cite examples of this. One, who brought Erufai to BPE? It was Atiku. It was on Atiku's recommendation that he was brought into the PBE. Right. It was so Erufai is a path pathological liar. I mean, he is so shameless. He says things that suits him when it suits him. I don't think that is right that Nigerians should continue to listen to people like that. When it suited him, before, before 2015, he had, he had said all sorts of derogatory things about Mohammed Buhari. Uh, but by 2015, when he wanted to be governor, he came and knelt down before Buhari. Because if you remember Hadi Sirika in Katsina, in a gathering, was swearing by God that they have amassed so much money. They have amassed so much money that they will use that money for elections. So they, it's just self-explanatory. Their Fistus Kiamo is not saying that Nigerians are behind them. He is saying that we have a president who controls the finances of this country because MFLA is answerable to the president, to the minister of finance, and they are all answerable to the, to the president. So if they have the monies of Nigeria and they have the force of Nigerians, they don't need Nigerians. Unayeram? Unayeram are people? Okay. Let's quickly move on so that we can start talking. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. I can see more people. Jeff Retta Catfish, thanks very much for joining us. Good evening to you. Good evening to every one of you right there on the comment section. And those of you that is watching us, uh, thank you. Please continue to share and like. Uh, meanwhile, let's take more on this. It's come after Tinubu's outburst during the party's presidential rally in Ogun State, where he expressed dissatisfaction over the fuel and currency scarcity in the country. The president endorsement has generated several reactions from a cross-section of Nigerians. Oyakubu Dogara, a former speaker of the House of Representatives, in a tweet on Sunday, described... This is just 24 hours after seven governors go visit Buhari. They go threaten them. Buhari can come out. They force them. 
Now he go endorse uh, Tinubu. Here we see Dongara talk. Buhari's endorsement of Tinubu as a joke, taken too far. His tweet reads, I know that Buhari loves to crack jokes, but I didn't know he will escalate it to the level of satire. Asiwaju will give his best to Nigeria. Really? Fake certificates, fake parentage, golden triangle, excavates, and racketeering? No, Buhari, Nigeria does not deserve his best. But we get the satire. Well, first as Kiyamu, in a swift response to Dogara's tweet, described him as a political prostitute and backstabber. His tweet reads, My brother and law schoolmate, Yakubu Dogara, this tweet is beneath you. You are actually pained by the support of Buhari for Tinubu, two leaders who have stayed true to their beliefs and causes, unlike the political prostitute, wanderer, and backstabber that you have always been. Well, you know, both men have exchanged uh, more words on Twitter. But, you know, this endorsement for um, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, you know, it is obviously has changed a lot of the conversations that have been going on, um, you know, within the APC, whether or not there's some sort of rancor going on. I think it has set the ball straight at this point. Even the conversation like this day has on its headline, interim government, perish the thought. This is an editorial piece that was written as well. President Buhari has always supported the, the presidential ambition of uh, Bola Tinubu. He campaigned with, the day Bola Tinubu started his campaign, he campaigned with him now. Is that not enough endorsement? So why are this, all of this session, any game noise going on as you guys, he has always endorsed him. So if they have their internal wranglings, they should deal with their own internal wranglings. But it's also, also, also obvious that they are fighting themselves because the same President Buhari that endorsed Bola Tinubu. Bola Tinubu keeps attacking President Muhammad Buhari's record in all the campaign. So we see all the shenanigans going on among them. And now that we now know, according to Madame Najatu, that there are factions even of the cabal. So it's not one full united cabal. There are different factions of the cabal. That we should even be more concerned about because Nigerians can elect a president in and cabals take over for their own selfish interests. So whoever becomes president, please do not give room to cabals. We can't have a government of, we have democracy, not cabalocracy. <laughs> yeah, like that. Thirdly, uh, Mr. Kiamu and uh, what is it called? Two politicians fighting. Yakubu Dogara. Yakubu Dogara. <laughs> when two politicians fight, I laugh at them. Yeah. Because same of the same kind. Yakubu Dogara is leaving because things are not favoring the APC. Uh, but they said they were both classmates in law school. Yeah. They should go and sort it out with their own classmates' WhatsApp group. All right, then. Like New videos have emerged showing some commercial banks hoarding the redesigned currency. Some monies were found stashed behind old Naira notes in their vaults. Let's take a look. You have so many new notes. Bring them down. You have so many. Bring them down. See new notes at the back. Yes, yes, yes. I want to bring them down. So that load all your machines. I do not want to hear it. Because we'll fix continuously the check. Yes, yes. Make sure that your machines are working. So make sure bring them out and load. That's all. That's all. That's all. We yeah, and that's all. Oh, oh, yeah, this is uh, 500. Yes. 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 All right, thank you. Let's take on the last video quickly so we can start talking. Uh, this one is a three minutes video from our principal. Well, let's take on uh, about two or more other issues. Yesterday, when you were campaigning in Abeokuta, you were campaigning on your record as governor for eight years in Anambra State, how the state won the prize, was recognized for being first in the realization of millennium uh, development uh, goals in Anambra State. But that same Anambra State, the presidential candidate of the APC went there recently in Oka, and he said uh, uh, he has read the Bible, that Peter in the Bible betrayed Jesus Christ three times. And that uh, Peter will be, who is from this uh, Anambra state, will betray Nigerians. He called you Mr. Stingy. That you said you were saving money. That saving money for what? That if you, are, if you want to be president of Nigeria, you need a man who will deploy resources to spend, to, to achieve results. Not somebody who will sit on resources and uh, he will say he's Mr. Stingy. So I've not seen your response to that, but uh, this, <laughs> there's an attempt to 
you know, tag this uh, label upon you and make it stick permanently. Well, uh, um, Polatinibu remains a, a, a very respected senior brother at the time, you know, but so he has a right to his opinion. But he forgets to do that even when Peter denied Jesus three times, he still made him the head of the church. He still built the church on him. Azi Abo, your comment, now God will bless you, but I'm not going to repeat what you talk. Now, wait till they my mind be that. Azi Abo, you all leave wonderful comments. May the your wait make our place a perfect win first. May win first. It is the rock on which he built the church. That means that uh, with notwithstanding the denial, the church, the God found him wanting to build that rock. And I'm saying that trust this country to me. I will rebuild it. It will be the same rock on which they will rebuild this country. On stinginess. Because we don't know what is called capital formation. The most, in, for you to develop, it is a critical thing. Go and read famous economists. Over the years, capital formation is about saving. If you don't save, you can't form capital, capital. And if you don't have capital, you can't develop. Ruben, I was number one in MDG, which is the only measure of development. The difference between developed and undeveloped place is education and health. I was number one in education. I was one of the best in health. I was number one in pulling in, in issue of pulling people out of poverty. You can go and ask Magnus back home, who is in charge then and everything. Ask all the donor agencies, who is governor who comes first to contribute his counterpart funding, it's me. And on top of that, Ruben, when everybody's owing salary, owing pension, owing gratuity, owing contractors, which have collapsed most of the contractors, I left office not owing one contractor or supplier, not owing pension or gratuity, not doing anything, and ended up saving over 75 billion naira which nobody have ever done. I did not in any way allocate myself any contract directly or indirectly, allocate myself any land directly or, directly or indirectly, or become a consultant to any of the company, uh, state agencies, anything directly or indirectly. I wasn't even entitled to any gratuity or pension to date. So yes, I agree that Peter denied Jesus three times. He showed remorse, repented, and Jesus entrusted the church on him. And I'm asking Nigerians to entrust Nigeria on me. Hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> About to don't know what you want to say. Hmm. Okay. Because, you know, listen, guys. <laughs> We could have a premier Peter will be win or if Peter will be win, if Peter will be become the next president of Nigeria, Peter will be go do wonder. Wonders in development, fine. Yes, wonder from consumption to production, fine. But wonders for the, another area where I know they like to talk about, and I know they like my principal making sure that garment. This man, eh, if by God's grace, he emerged as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ah, many Nigerians who want Nigeria to become a better country go love him. The people will not go like this man are the people where they benefit from the suffering that you and I is facing today. Thank you. Now, here, now we we'll draw the curtain of all videos. Make we start to the talk. Thank you very much. I would like to start with 
uh, my co-moderator today. My people, we have a guest. Uh, once, if you reach your turn, say you they talk, and that time I guess they're ready, I will stop you more for welcome our guest. And if the screen is full, anybody will come last. Once my guest is ready, I go remove that last person so that our guest can come in. I apologize now, so they work here. Thank you. All right. Uh, at the moment, screen never full anyway. So, uh, lefties, back to you. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Elvis, I do well. For all of you, now we do the talk since I do well. Well, first of all, I want to thank all the wonderful viewers, people in the comment sections. I say thank you very much. And for those people that are doing wonderful in the Super Chat Committee, we say thank you very much. Today, a very beautiful day. In fact, we see new things happen today. Like what is the new thing? More confession, more openness. I think this is the most beautiful thing that's ever happened since this campaign. You see this woman coming out now to speak her heart. She's bleeding. First of all, maybe a lot of you did not know what happened to this woman. This woman's husband was, was, was killed. Not only killed, was burnt. And after killing the husband, they burnt the husband in presence of her. Not born. She was now we're in her present. So I want you to know what this woman had passed through. And she now decided to say she's going to take it up from where the husband stopped. Hmm. That's how she started what she's doing now. And now she found herself in the wrong wag, uh, wagon, wag bar. Now she, she left and started opening her mouth. And she's been spilling out a lot of things. This woman has seen death. If her husband can be killed and bought in her present, what else will she be afraid of? Let them come and kill her and burn her too now. This is the end of the road. Now, she has given up her life for Nigeria. This is why she's talking the way she's talking. She's pained. So, let not look at her as she was here before. Why is she talking now? This is the right time. That's why she's talking. Going by what she said about Aisha Buhari. Before now, Aisha Buhari came on to say the Kabas has attacked the government of her husband. I'm going to be cutting this and trying to connect things together. Not be me talking. We also, when she came out and they apologized to Nigerians. But she refused, just like the woman said, she refused to mention the names of the Kabas. Then she wasn't a cabal. Then she was having Nigerians at heart. I tell you, that's my opinion. I feel that's why she could come out to say because she was seeing what was happening, that it was not well for Nigerians. She was seeing the suffering. So she came out to say they should not they should forgive her husband. It's not her husband's fault. But what now happened? Why did she become a cabal? This led me to what Umar the Kano have said. Why has she not been living with her husband at the time Una the Kano came out to tell us that Bari is dead? Before now, at least, we the see Aisha and her husband for campaign ground that they move together. Since that information, we have not seen both of them together. What happened? They are not be husband and wife again. I don't know married again. Now, how did she become a cabal? At this time, they had to shut this woman's mouth. And the only way they could shut her mouth was to begin to give her, open the, the, the vote of our country, our bank to her. They start bribing her, giving her money. This is how this woman left Nigeria and be staying in, in Dubai. How can you leave your husband that is a president of a country and you are not staying in Dubai? Does it make sense to you? Does it make sense to all of us, any of us? And you, you people did not uh, divorce. And you did not tell people that you are not her husband, her, her, his wife again. But you, you are not living in Dubai. Why your husband, the president, is living in Nigeria? I just want you people to join all these things we are saying. So this is how she becomes, she became one of the cabal. Now, she, she now took charge. Mr. Leftis. Sir? Uh, sorry, uh, this is Mr. Chooks. Are you okay. saying... Right, that she was good in 2016 when she she said that, and uh, you know, uh, suddenly she becomes a, a, a cabal. Well, 
Oga, I'm not judging her. I didn't say she was good. I no, because uh, uh, look, yeah, if I understand the uh, uh, cabal, cabal is struggling for for positions. Okay, right. So what about the fitness? Yeah, if, if she if she can't if she can't get time. what she wants, she will come out and uh, and uh, spare the, the this thing. In other because at that time, she was at that time, Abakari was in charge. Abakari didn't allow her. When Abakari died, that was when she had her way. Oga Chooks, listen to me and try to manage what I am saying. You are going out of the key. I didn't say she was good. I said she came to, I said she fought for Nigerians. She saw what was happening. That, was that, that, that she fight for Nigeria is what yes. I disagree. Yeah, exactly. let's see, that was not true. Let's see, that's not that true. That is not true. Because that she is, was not part of the cabal. That, 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 is, that, that is characteristics of cabals. Yeah. What you saw in her is characteristics of cabals. She never fought for Nigeria for one single minute. You would have asked me, why did I say so? That's what you would have said. You would have asked me, why did I say so? In my own opinion, I'll tell you, this is what I thought. And this is why I said so. Because for somebody like this woman coming out to talk now. Lefties. Lefties. My brother, please hold on one minute. You know, you'll continue. All right. Um, my guest will be joining us any minutes from now. Unfortunately, my brother, son of mine, you are going to move. Because you're the join now. Uh, no so, problem. No problem. I just want to yes. tell lefties. So in addition to killing that woman's husband, they poisoned the woman. That woman has a reconstructive surgery of her colon. Yes. Eh, okay, but son yeah. of man never come on chat when he one click in. I'll tell you, maybe no, 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 just uh, just uh, discharge me normally. How uh, did that uh, uh, even uh, die? Uh, uh, How did that uh, uh, even die? The second corona kid is who okay. who really no. killed that man? No, listen, <laughs> listen. I want to answer your question, sir. I understand what you are talking from. I am not saying uh, Aisha Bwari is a good woman. When I say she fight for Nigeria, just like this woman, in my opinion, just like this woman now, spilling out a lot of things. Because she wants Nigerians to know. At that time, she spelled out a lot of things that her husband is not in charge. That's why I said she felt. Why did she say so? She would have kept quiet and managed the situation. That's the reason I said I want you to get it clear. I'm not saying she's a good woman. A good woman will not go and arrest somebody that says she's fat and put her in the prison. So I want you to ask me why I said she felt for Nigeria. Because she told Nigerians that as of this period, my husband is not in charge. The government had been adjudged by certain people. She was speaking the truth to Nigerians then. That's why I said she fed for Nigeria. She wanted to spread Nigeria the truth. And that was then, that's when she became, that's how they bought her. She became the cabal. This time, this was the time Una Bikan was carrying the room off. And there was everybody movement of the death of her husband. That is why I said, follow me and marry everything to together. This is the time that she now became a Kaba. Now she's now living in Dubai, not Nigeria. Your husband is the president, not dead. Still the president, not retired. You now left the so-called husband that you deal with. You are now in Dubai. So this is, this was when she became a Kaba. Because they now gave her so much power. Now, let me also lead us to how she became this Kaba. This was the time Boshomole was also saying it will not talk too much. I will expose everything that is happening as we rock. And Nigeria will burn. This was the time Amechi, when he was dragging out, trying to expose it too much, he also said, if we not talk too much, if I talk what is what is in Asu Rock, Nigeria will put fire, they will put fire in Asu Rock. I want us to marry all these things together. Okorocha is, said it too. Okorocha, yes, he said Okorocha. the same thing. Amechi, Okorocha, some of them, Went and be threatening, and this is the same threat. This is a threat we, we just allegedly also see. Tinubu going to president to also threat. <laughs> I want <laughs> us to, we are all in the same page, and I never said she was so good, so don't attack me for it. I'm going somewhere. So you can see now the issue is very clear. She has come out openly. This time, she did not say just Kaba. She went measuring names. And she not challenged Aisha Buhari. If you, you are not afraid, measure names, because you are part of the Kaba now. You see how it comes. And going by Oshomole's uh, 
deposition in channels yesterday. You can also see what Oshomale was saying. He was also trying. You see, some, the, he was asked, "Can you openly now? How do you how do you campaign for APC? How?" He said he cannot disassociate himself from APC. He's already a cabal. Oshomale was trying to do damage control, trying to say something about aero five, but he could not also say. You see, the body language is clear. They've lost this election. You see, at the end, Oshomale said. These people are trying to come up with something that will make it look like APC government is bad so that people will not vote APC government. You see how Shumole came out and he was also telling the truth. You know, Shumole does not have to, he does not know how to talk. He thinks he's clever. But when you are talking, people you are, that are listening are also very clever. Shumole was spilling out the truth because he does not know what he was saying. Now, they are not putting it on MFLA. If MFLA is answerable to President Buhari, and MFLA Let's see, there's no how there's no how you will try to speak in favor of uh, APC and you will not look stupid. You will become a compulsive liar. That's what is happening to all of them. You are very, you are very correct. So, let me not go too far so that before our guests come, somebody else can also just uh, trip in. We, all, we are all saying that it is an open game. Yesterday, Oshomole. Today, this woman. Tomorrow, we said it here before that more are going, more exposure are going to come out. Now, Buhari has also now, by doing this, disgraced himself. You can hear what people are saying about him. Even the political cabals, the two factions are now fighting themselves. This is how they will fight. They will fight. We will come and take whatever they are holding from them in Jesus' name. So we just uh, give it up to the next person before possibly our guests come in. I think the first person today is F. Emmanuel. F. Emmanuel, please quickly talk to us. Let's do it like two, two minutes before our guest comes in. All right. Since, since Namid, Namid will come out immediately now, for just talk sharply. <laughs> okay, yes. okay, talk, talk. Since you don't okay, 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 let me give it. Okay, let me, um, okay, let me allow him to, to talk one or two minutes. Thank you, man. Thank you, my brother. I greet everybody. All protocol duly observed. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Nigeria. What I have to say is that, you see, Buari is a smart guy. Forget about that endorsement. Buari already knows that uh, Nigeria's eyes have opened. And as he came out to raise uh, Tinubu's hand up, does not mean that uh, the election is not going to be free affair. Does not mean that uh, the money is going to be in circulation. He, has no, he knows that he has boxed uh, Tinubu to the corner. And uh, what he came to do there is to fulfill all righteousness. As Abati said, he was in Nasarawa. Why didn't he speak it in Hausa? He was speaking English. So I don't believe in all those uh, uh, showmanship. It is just uh, trying to appease uh, the so-called uh, APC members. Let him look at him. You know, Dr. Bola Tinubu is, uh, is a handicapped man. He's a man that is... Uh, mentally retarded and uh, anything you do you know that can make him happy that is what they are doing and i don't believe that uh, uh, Buari is uh, uh, absolutely wanting uh, Bola Tinubu to take over the affairs of uh, governing nigeria I, I i reject that and i believe that that's not true for this uh, najatu yes uh, in addition to what lefty said they killed that woman's husband they did not just kill him they butchered him up and they burnt his body. She herself was subject to poisoning, which she had to be flown to Germany, where she had a reconstruction of her colon. So somebody who has seen a near-death experience and have seen death, I don't think there's anything that uh, she's afraid of. And what she's telling Nigeria is the capital truth. Let me tell you something. In this game, sometimes you need some people to be inside in order to do the damage. That she was inside, even though she was chopping. For the fact that she's coming out right now to tell Nigeria, this is what is going on. I believe that uh, we should take the message and forget the messenger. And I want to speak directly to my brother Alex. You know, I love you. And a lot of Nigerians who listen to you love you. Sometimes you pick your fight. You pick your, your, your battle. You do not uh, challenge those who are fighting for you and those who are obviously on your side. Even though they were on the other side at some time. 
And I'm saying this with regards to the question you asked uh, Ibrahim on the last uh, episode. I myself, watching from afar, was not very comfortable with that question. And uh, I'm surprised that uh, he went behind to speak to Niger Watch. You understand? So, my brother, I know that uh, you are a politician and I know that you are very, very passionate. But please, you know, pick your battles and do not fight those that you know that are already on your side. Thank you. Yes, I think that was a very nice advice for Alex. Alex is an eloquent man, but um, he's just being strict. He doesn't care who the gun hit, but he needs to care. You don't kill somebody that is on your side. No. Even if he was your enemy before, now that he's on your side, you don't say because he, he was on the other side, you kill him. No. So I think that is a very good advice because we took note of that seriously. But you know, uh, we have to also manage situations. Thank you very much. So F. Emmanuel, please talk to us. All right. Good morning, leftists. Good morning, Niger. To Niger. Good morning, everyone in the panel. Um, my contribution is, uh, in fact, the first person I just spoke now has uh, spoken <laughs> some part of things I actually want to say. You know, you see, to be sincere, looking at Niger to Mohammed, you know, we everybody knew that he was part of them. Actually, just like uh, we see, we saw in the likes of uh, Wicked, the governor of River State, a lot of things we knew today from the PDP, you know, that has come to limelight today, we wouldn't have known, you know, if we didn't speak out. We, didn't, we wouldn't have known that uh, I is this corrupt. So people like that, we should forget them, their attitude, we shouldn't should focus on what, what they have done or what they have not done, we should focus on the message they are giving us. That will give us broader knowledge of what is happening in their uh, 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 Kabul, Kabul, what is it called? Is it in, the, in the Kabul? You know, so I think uh, we should focus on the information because uh, knowledge is power and knowledge is light. So there are still some Kabul too that are not speaking out, that don't have the guts. It's one thing to be a Kabul, it's another thing to also have the guts to come out to speak for people to know this is what is happening inside. Uh, people say it's a rat that is in the house that go out, out there and tell the one outside, come, there is food here. So they are letting all these things out. I also want to say something. is the hand of God in the camp of the enemy that is also causing all this confusion. On their own, ordinarily, they wouldn't have even come out to say this is what is happening. And the ordinary Nigerian would know this is what is happening. That is the problem. These are the micro, microscopic few that is keeping, keeping us in this kind of mess. You know, but I thank God that God is really putting confusion in their camp. That is why one or two of them is getting disgruntled and they are coming out, um, you know, to the social media and, you know, saying what is happening. And with all this information we are gathering, we will not give a, an average Nigerian, uh, you know, the, 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 the sense of belonging to know, okay, this is actually what is happening. Okay. You now have your own judgment. Begin to decide, okay, I have to do this to, you know, to get this or to get to this point. You know, instead of, you know, wallowing in darkness. Because when you're in darkness, you didn't know what is happening. Thank God they are bringing out this thing and we are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So I, 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 I want to say that for, for well, you know, stop there for uh, Aja and Najatu. Then for the Arise the interview that Peter V had with um, uh, 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 Dr. Abati. That one, <laughs> the only thing I can say there is, you see, Mr. Peter B is full of wisdom. If you look at it critically, he's a man with loaded with wisdom. You see all the responses he was giving to this man? Abati was just shocked, was, was surprised. Quite all right. Somebody can, can, can make a mistake in the past. I, 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 looking at, okay, just look at this. People say Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus. And at the end, he went to kill himself. If, if Judah had done the way Peter did, he repented, Judas would have still been alive today. You know? He would have still been forgiven. Just like Baba Che Lawa said, I was with them before. I was in darkness. Now I have repented. I'm sorry. You know? So that is the perfect response that is best you know, for, 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 uh, uh, on that question that uh, 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 Rub Ruben asked uh, Peter, Peter held quite all right. He denied. 
no problem about that. But at the end, what happened? God built the church upon uh, on, on him, upon this rock, shall the church be built. So the same thing, he's doing the same pattern. And I guarantee you, if Nigerians can allow Peter to rule, the same way God has built the church of Christ on Peter, the same thing will happen. So there is hope. We have 100% hope. You know? So that is that for, 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 for that. The, another thing that, that baffles me, when Bola, uh, Tinubu was campaigning, I was talking about Anambra State, you know, that uh, Peter claimed he built Anam uh, uh, he, he worked well in Anambra State, and, uh, and, and yet he's living in Lagos, for crying out loud. Anybody can live anywhere I want to live. Okay, what about him? Why is he always going to the uh, UK for medical attention if he really has beat Lagos? Are there no hospitals in Lagos for him to take, uh, uh, take his treatment? Why is he going abroad to treat himself? So anybody can live anywhere of the world that he feel like, or especially if you're in Nigeria, he can live anywhere. It doesn't matter. After all, he wasn't the one that beat, beat Lagos. So what are we talking about? So that is, I don't want to take most of our time. I want to give time for other people to also speak. But the bottom line is that let's keep sensitizing our people back home. They should get their PVC and they should also make sure that all these cabalocristic people that are coming out right now to, to, to open up telling Nigerians what is happening inside their cabal, cabal. This is the time for them to begin to put one or two things together and make decisions. For those who are stand, standing behind the, uh, 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 within the fence, at the fence, they should come out right now and begin to say, "Okay, this is the, this is our problem," and make the right choice and choose Peter Obi. Finish. Thank you. Let me stop there. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll just call on the next possible person. We have to quickly do this before our guests come. Please, uh, please collect. Please collect. Please talk to us. Please collect. Please talk to us. If you are not available, then we have to move to the next person. T. Mr. T, please talk to us. Can anybody hear me, Mr. T? I can hear you. I don't know about others. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I, hear, I, I hear you. Okay, I, I hear you. Okay, talk to us. It looked like two of them are not around. So all right, just two minutes, be brief, because I want to quickly say before our, uh, our guests come in. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Um, the people in the comment section and the people that are listening to us and all my co-panelists. Um, well, uh, a lot to unpack. Um, the lady in question, I think uh, she's doing us a good by trying to reveal a lot of things we never knew. It is today that I know that the director of the Mint is... Uh, a brother to the wife of the president. So um, when she was crying about the government of his husband, I think that was when she was struggling to become a member of the cabal and she had become a member of it and that is it. That is Nigerian for you. And it's too difficult to be outside the system to change the system. You have to be involved. So a lot of people who are saying the woman, she's part of it. Yeah, everybody comes from the old guard and sometimes uh, you know, nobody was born a saint. It is when you know that the thing begin to work against your conscience, you'll be able to come out and speak out for the well-being of everybody. So we all come from one system or the other, but we reject what is going on in our country. So that is that. On Oshomole, um, there is no how you can uh, demarry APC and the, the governor of uh, Central Bank. It's his party, the government in power that appointed him the governor of Central Bank. So he can never ever try to separate Emefile from APC. They are the same thing. And it was for me, it was shocking for me last night to hear that the six local government that he represents as a senatorial zone, that there is no bank in that six, the so six local government. And he was a governor for eight years. Was it eight years or four years? He was governor in a do state. He was governor in a do state. And there is no bank in his local government. And he was proud to come and say it in an open television. This is the kind of people that think that they do everything and get away with it. So 
um, there is no how he can he can try to tell us he's not the APC. Whatever that is happening now has nothing to do with any political party but the APC. The government politics is being run by APC. So everybody is involved. After all, what did they do? Where did he get 100 million naira that they used to buy APC for? Where did he get the 100 million? How much is the salary of a, a governor of Central Bank? This is what we are talking about. So listen. I do not want anybody to distract me in this remaining 18 days that is remaining. What is more concerning is what is it, what am I going to do or what you and any other person is going to do to see that our principle gets there. All these things are political distractions and I don't want to swim myself into it because now they want us to create an environment where we have the people who want to be sympathetic to APC. I can never, nobody should be deceived you know, this thing is the, what they cooked up to see that they cannot, uh, you know, they cannot run away from their crime. So, please, I am not ready to buy those things they say. Every information, like the information this woman is saying, is very good for me and for all of us. But all these APC who are trying to tell us now that they are, they are clean, they are saying, they are, listen, all these things are political distractions. And we don't need it now. What we need now, what do we do to get to where we want? and to make sure our principle gets there. And uh, his reply of uh, Bola Tinumbu, you know, that is our principle. So we follow him. What uh, the way he do, we follow him. He's a man with his bless, with divine wisdom. He knows the language to use. He knows how to talk to people. He said his point, and the point is understood by everybody. I was surprised that Davis did not play his reply to Erufai, you know. So, but that is it. My brothers and sisters, listen, we, our principal was in Quara State today. So, I mean, let us be focused. Let us not allow APC to, you know, try to win unnecessary sympathy to distract us from what is at stake. Don't take your eyes off the ball. They want you to take your eyes off the ball and I am not ready to buy their gimmicks. And I don't want anybody to buy their gimmicks. We are already fighting for how we're going to get 25% a percent in 24 state and we're hoping that there is not going to be any runoff so this is what we should do now whatever can we do whatever can i do whatever can they do whatever can be do in then whatever way can you have this is our this is our game we need to play it to the end don't drop the ball please i yield for now all right thank you thank you very much it's, it's good you make it very you made it very very brief so we just go straight to Chuk Babwezi. Chooks, please. Two minutes. Uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Leftis. Have, have you called me? Yes, I just called you now, Chooks. No, no uh, it's please, not please. me it's speaking. Colin. Oh, no, Collins have not called you. It's Chooks have called you. But I, I, think I, I think you people have jumped me, eh? No, we called you before. We were not available now. Ah, really? Really? Yes. I didn't hear it. Probably my network was a bit... Uh... All right. Uh, okay, so you yeah. can go on, Ms. Collins. Go on, go okay, on. Okay. Be, no, let me finish up. Oh, do you, you don't mind anyway, right? Two minutes, just two minutes. We are making it to two minutes because we are expecting somebody. We don't want so that everybody can get to everybody, please. Two minutes. Oh. Okay, two minutes or three minutes. Just be brief. That's All right. Need, because... Okay, I'll, I'll be brief anyway. But uh, what is this? I would I wouldn't want to talk about what. Uh, I want to emphasize on um, what uh, the answer our principal gave to the journalist as regard what I see what you said about him. It shows that uh, uh, he is more intelligent than the I see what you said compared to him because that was a, 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 a words that were framed together that they, they, they asked you to come and say in the campaign. So the way he answered him, he showed he's more intelligent. That is the reason why. He has a that is that is his ideology that he has used to change the the the, the narrative of uh, the, our present politics. Mm. So I would say that a lot of people have, have spoken about it. So I don't want to emphasize on that at, at all. So uh, I want to greet everybody, the panelists, you know, and and I will stand on the existing protocol to greet our viewers at home, uh, our super chatters. I pray that God should bless them. So um, I really want to briefly talk about uh, the issue of all this uh, cabal. You know, when you talk about uh, cabal, uh, some people some people can call it uh, cabal, some can call it clique, some can call it group, some can call it stronghold, some can call it syndicate, you know. But these are 
these are all factions around the presidency you know just like in the state as well maybe if, if somebody if somebody is a governor or somebody is a, is a, is a member of a, a rep like senate or as of as of assembly somebody is in local government council there is always a clique stronghold around him most especially is that stronghold starts from his immediate family that is why nigeria government they go there to enrich to enrich their personal uh, uh interest instead of uh, having the people in mind because they be surrounded by people that are very 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 strong that are willing to do everything to protect them and at the end of the day willing to do that same thing to take whatever they want to take you know this is the way they 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 they, they, they build different factions you know with the with the with the with the mind headed by the 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 the, the persons to headed by the person that is in charge maybe the president or the governor or whoever so they build this this political uh dynasty with their own family you know politics that is the way it is it now depends on whether the political dynasty that you are going to build is going to be for the good or for the bad or for the ugly but in nigeria the political dynasty they build is for the the the, the ugly situation to siphon the people to to uh, to enrich themselves the, the immediate people around around them and they follow that up by using their old dynasty now to to build a political continuity that is exactly what is happening in a in a uh, 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 dynasty dynasty right now where you see his wife is in the senate his son i mean his daughter is having a position there it has happened before you have the the Danjuma, uh, dynasty you have uh, uh, the yaradua dynasty you have in back back home in a door you have the Bermuda dynasty their children they are still contesting election today they continue it's a dynasty that they build and the cabal that are around them are those that are happy them to carry that dynasty along with them so we cannot overemphasize this if you look at the, the, the from the military regime we remember what uh, 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 women a better life for rural women that was that was uh, built up by Baba Gida. That, that was that was a stronghold that he that he opened up for his family where they were taking up the money. The wife was the head where it's a better life for rural women. And when when they when when he finished up when he left a bacha came he changed it to a uh, family support program. But we don't we don't need to forget all these things. These are stronghold they, they built for their immediate family to siphon Nigeria money and it continues. It was only in a, in a, uh, a Basayo regime that we are, yes we had it we had what happened to his wife when, when he went to 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 to, to, to Spain with a uh, uh, Desi Hanire Danjuma when when he, when he, when he went for for an operation it was a dynasty then and down to uh, good luck we saw the wife was there as well as the head of the women in, in pretending to, to to hold position to protect the women whereas the siphon almost 50 percent of what the president is, is getting it's an office so they open it that cannot be so that is why you see the the wife of the of, of the of the of this our present president was not happy that he couldn't build that 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 office at the time the thing was was starting because somebody was there acting as an antagonist because the husband mentioned initially that the the wife is made for the kitchen not 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 to come there where they asked him so he was trying to fulfill that and somebody was there acting that's why she was very brutal she was she never had the interest of nigerians in, in, in mind so whatever she was doing it was because she didn't get what, what what she wants and at the time she got what she wanted she changed automatically we didn't hear her voice anymore and this the evidence of what she has gotten is what is being revealed right now you know having the dg of central bank to be his, his family relation that is what they do in that country that is why poor men have continued to suffer that's why poor men continue to suffer every day that is why you see that people are living abject poverty people are subjug people are in living in subjugation and starvitude there is nothing to write home about about the nation because they be surrounded by evil people and evil politicians so okay. when it is sweet they benefit uh, from it yeah, thank yeah. you my brother uh, so my daughter you should be ready to lay good foundation they learn the better in the nearest future, you could be one of the leaders. So we pray. Amen. To become a man is not a nature. To become a leader is not very easy. Everybody's ambition is to become a leader and to become a rich man. That is the struggle.